So in the series of learning C programming, we are discussing some, some special functions in file handling in C. Like in the previous videos, we have discussed fseek and ftl function. Now we are left with one function that is rewind function. So everything about this function, like what is rewind function, why we use this, how to use this in a program, these things we will discuss in this video with the help of a program. I will show you practical also, right? A program I will show you in the last, fine. Now before that, I just want to tell you one thing. If you guys are preparing for GATE 2023 or will be preparing for GATE 2023 exam, then Unacademy is going to start new batch from 2nd of February. In this course, their top educators will be covering all the subjects of CS and IT which will help you to prepare for your GATE exam. So here you will get preparation strategy, tips and tricks, practice questions, numericals along with detailed explanation of all the concepts. Apart from these, classes you will also get doubt clearing sessions would also be conducted there so you can get all your doubt cleared in those doubt clearing sessions and this would be this course would be in english only and notes would be given to you in english and that would be a paid subscription because here you you know you will get a complete and structured course but here you will have a great offer that is unlock 20 rather than 10 percent off if you will use my code jkl10 you will get 20% off on all the, you know, uh, an academy's plus and iconic subscriptions. And this offer is valid till 2nd of February. So last few hours left to avail this offer. And they're also going to start few batches for all the branches like mechanical, civil, chemical, for all the branches they're going to start batches for gate aspirants. So all the relevant links and detail I'll put in the description box of this video. If you are interested, you can go and check out. Now let's see what is rewind function and how you are going to use this function. See, rewind means basically like no, as the name suggests, rewind something. Means suppose in a file we have, suppose I have abc.txt and I have Jenny's. This I have suppose in file, Jenny's lectures is great channel for CS and IT, right? Now suppose at some point of time, my file pointer is my file pointer is suppose in the last or maybe here but i want to read the complete thing the file pointer is here but i want to set this file pointer in the beginning so you can use rewind function just have to use rewind and one argument that is file pointer that's it it is not going to return anything return type is void right you just have to pass one argument fp and Wherever the cursor is, wherever the file pointer is, after this line, after finding this rewind, rewind function, that file pointer would be shifted to the beginning of the, this file, right? Now, suppose let's take one example. I have, now suppose I'm opening this file in, you know, write and read mode, both. I'm going to write something also, I'm going to read something also, right? So I'm opening this file, suppose in W plus mode. Right? In any mode you can open like R plus W plus or A plus both for reading and these are both for reading and writing. Right? In any mode you can write. Suppose you, you are opening suppose in R plus mode. Right? Because in W plus mode whatever written in the file that would be erased. Right? But in W plus mode but in R plus mode this would be as it is and you can read this and you can write something also. Right now, suppose I think you can check this thing if fp is equal to is equal to null, then just print error or cannot open file and exit from this point only. But if this is not the case, if you are opening this in R plus mode, the cursor would be here, and if you are going to read this thing, then just you uh, know put a while loop here and you can read this complete thing till end of the file right this is i'm going to suppose this is in a, in a single line right but suppose i have moved the cursor here and how you can move that cursor here using fseek function we have a function fseek just fp just provide offset suppose offset i'm providing six and what you're writing here seek underscore set from starting i'm going to move that cursor 6 offset. So here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. This. So now cursor would be here. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is the kind of offset. 
So, at starting at 0 plus 6 offset you are going to add means 6th index. Now, cursor will be at 6th index that is at S. Right? Now, we have moved the cursor here. Fine. Now, suppose I, I print like I am printing uh, Y F E O F F P till then I am going to print F get C a single character I am getting and print F percentage C and C H and after that suppose F close right. So now at this time after F seek function the cursor would be here. Now, if you are putting this while loop, this is what reading loop till end of file it, it is going to read. So, what it will print? From here it is going to print like S space lectures is good channel for CS and IT, not journey, right? And this apostrophe single, uh, no, um, sign, fine. But suppose now after this, after this, I want to print from here only, from journey, from starting. So, what you can do? How to move this cursor? To here to starting after this while loop before this f close simply you will write rewind fp that's it now cursor is at this place and now if you write again this while loop this reading while loop no this is what i think you are clear with this loop we have used this thing many time while we are reading the content of the file till feo of means end of the file character by character I am going to read using F get C and what character I am reading that I am going to print here. So, now after this F rewind if you again if you will write down this logic then what would be the output complete thing Jenny's lecture says good channel for CS and IT right. So, main motto of this rewind function is what to move the file pointer or the cursor from any position in the file to the beginning. If cursor is here, 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 here anywhere the cursor after using this function the cursor would be moved to the beginning of the file that is it and you can use this in w plus also in a plus also but if you will open this file in w plus whatever the content in this file that would be erased obviously. So, first of all you will put something you will write something here right because you cannot read this content this would be erased. So, first of all write something here and then you can read and you can move the cursor using f seek or anything right. And then suppose you are not using here F seek, I am not using this line, I am just reading this content, I am just reading R plus mode. So, what it will print? Jenny's lecture says great channel for CS and IT, right? And now cursor is here. Again, if you suppose want to print, you can use rewind FP, and again you can write down this logic. Again, this will be printed Jenny's lecture says good channel for CS and IT, right? So, I think main motto of rewind function is clear to you. Now, you can use this function with different different mode like R plus W plus or A plus and you can see how you know what output you are getting fine. Now, let me show you practical of this thing. So, let us see this is a program rewind.c. Now, here we have created this file pointer and we have opened abc.txt in abc.txt right now I have Jenny is awesome faculty right. Suppose this I have and I am opening this file in R plus mode right so that the previous content would be as it is. So, I am just checking if is null then error otherwise I am printing first of all I am printing while this then I am just going to print whatever is there in that file right. Now, let me just run this and show you what output you are getting. See what output we are getting Jenny is awesome faculty whatever is there that we are getting right. Now, at this point of time the cursor is at end of the file right if you suppose again want to read then just put a rewind function after this rewind fp right and simply you can write down again this logic reading logic right and let me just run this again. So, it will print two times Jenny is awesome faculty Jenny is awesome faculty right. Otherwise, suppose f seek function if you are using, suppose here I am using f seek function, f seek I am moving the that function and offset uh, offset I am providing what 6 right comma from starting. So, position I am going to set c underscore set from the beginning 
and after that I am printing right and again I am using rewind and again I am printing. So, now you will get the difference here let me just run this again and show you the output. See first time it is printing only is or some faculty because we have set the offset 6. So, now cursor has been moved 6 byte further. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 till space we have 6 then at i now the cursor is right after using f6. So, is awesome faculty again now I am I want to read complete thing. So, what you can do just rewind use the rewind function the cursor will be set to the beginning and again if you will write down the logic of reading the file like a while loop then it will print complete thing Jenny's is awesome faculty right. So, wherever the cursor is if you want to move the cursor at the beginning at any point of time in the program just use rewind function that is it you are sorted right. So, I think you got the basic idea of using rewind function and now you can use this function with any mode w plus r plus a plus w plus mode if you are if you will use then definitely it will erase the previous content. So, first of all you are going to put something you are going to write something in that file and then you can read you can move the cursor using f c and rewind and everything right that thing I you can do yourself right that is you know assignment for you guys. So, that is it for this video and I will see in the next video till then bye bye take care.